It's an absolute joy to be back at PNC Park this season for the home opener as we celebrate the vibrant energy of our great city right here in what USA Today recently ranked as the very best ballpark in Major League Baseball, a ballpark that seems to become more beautiful as time goes by. Today we honor this Pirates player who earned a Rawlings Gold Glove Award in 2023, the first Pirates third baseman to ever win this prestigious award. We are proud to recognize first-time winner Key Brian Hayes for his superior defensive work. The Pirates are pleased to be joined today by a true Hall of Famer for the ceremonial first pitch. Here he is, the skipper, Jim Leland. Jared Jones, obviously, we mentioned his second start, five and two thirds in that first start of his career. Two walks, 10 strikeouts, and that opponent average. It's terrific. So let's see if he can carry it on into today against this good Orioles team. Gunnar Henderson will lead off the game against Jones. How about this start? Three pitches and he strikes him out. My goodness. I don't know if we thought there were any jitters here for Jared Jones. He really got through it quickly. With three straight fastballs right at Gunnar Henderson. Look at this one. Middle up. And as we mentioned, that fastball at the top of the zone, he gets a ton of spin on it. Rutschman, who had 20 homers, drove in 80 runs last year, an all-star facing Jared Jones. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Elevating 99. Jones with two strikeouts. He's electrified. Taylor, deep center. A little trouble, but recovers. He's out and so are the Orioles. They go down one, two, three against Jared Jones pitching in the home opener. And the Pirates are coming up here in Pittsburgh. No score. Grayson Rodriguez, that was his only start of the season. How about that? Nine punch outs, only one walk. Those nine strikeouts tied a career high for him. Leo Cruz, six hits and 28 at bats. The first seven Pirate games. And the other way for O'Neill Cruz. Honeo Cruz leads off the first with a single. So he got an off, uh, an off speed pitch, and because he was staying back, he was able to just kind of slap it the other way. So be the 17th pitch of the first inning. A single, a ground out, and a walk. And Sawinski foul tips it into the mid of Adley. Rare back, it took 97 right to the upper part of the strike zone towards the outside part of the plate. Well done by Grayson Rodriguez. A catch in at 299 career home runs. A former National League MVP 11 years ago with the Pirates and his first in here in the Steel City and McCutcheon drives one the other way to right Santander is under it at the warning track and he puts away the third out of the inning. Try Mountcastle to open up the second inning against the righty Jared Jones and he's got another strikeout. That's three for Jared Jones through four batters. Ryan three for 12 with a double and a walk on the young year. High in the year to center field. This ball driven deep by O'Hearn. Taylor's at the wall, and this ball clears it. It's the first home run of the season for Ryan O'Hearn, and he gives the Orioles a second inning lead in Pittsburgh. Boy, big time there, huh? One two pitch, and there's a ball pulled through the right side for a base hit. Westberg, he's around second. He's going to test out Sawinski as the throw goes into third. It is cut off by O'Neill Cruz and Colton Kowser, another hit. Runners at the corners and two outs now, and the inning remains open for Ramon Arias. And a ground ball to O'Neill Cruz for the final out. Birds on the board. Orioles leading it one to nothing over Pittsburgh as we start the third and Jared Jones delivers to Gunnar Henderson. Henderson hooks one in the air deep to center field. Michael Taylor chasing this one back, and it's off the top of the wall and gone. Well, the Orioles have taken aim at center field twice. Ryan O'Hearn and Gunnar Henderson way up the middle. A couple of solo shots off the young Jones, and the O's have the first two. Come on now, kid. And he struck him out on a curve. And strikeout number four for Jared Jones, just 22 years old. Two outs, nobody on, and a one-two. Swing and a miss, struck him out on the slider. He had no chance. Jared Jones with five strikeouts through three innings. Oh, this guy is so talented, it's unbelievable. I mean, if he just, you know, can, can harness some of that talent, you know, he, it's unbelievable what this guy's possibly doing. There's an example of it right there. That's a, a good example of it. This guy's a true five-tool player. You know, if you look in the history of baseball, there aren't that many five-tool guys. There's a lot of great superstars and great players, but not every one of them could do everything. Let's continue the good vibes into this season. 
Davis chases a high fastball and Grayson Rodriguez strikes out the former number one overall pick. 2 1 pitch out towards shallow center field on the run. In comes center ball diving. He makes the catch. Cedric continues to slide 10 feet across the wet grass, but the ball is in hand. A 1 2 3 inning for Grayson Rodriguez. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He's got two two strike hits today. A pair of singles. And a fly ball to right field. There is your first Cruz missile of 2024 at home. It's number two on the year. Bucks on the board. Well, the one guy that's had Grayson Rodriguez's number so far, O'Neill Cruz. Jared Jones, a rookie in his second career start. A couple of solo home runs inside. He's been tremendous. Mountcastle golfs one deep into left center field. Another long run for Taylor, and this is off the base of the wall. There's a one two. Swing and a miss. There's another for Jones. Seven strikeouts. This is a good slider right here. One that has a little more down tilt than the other ones he typically throws, especially the lefties. That's almost what Cedric Mullins was saying with that facial expression. Like, ah, usually that one kind of comes a little bit more in as opposed to down. He's got some friends and family on hand, including his dad, Keith. One two pitch to right field. Reynolds back. And he makes the catch. That's probably it in the six strong innings. There's Keith Jones. His son Jared limits the Orioles to two runs. And we move to the bottom of the sixth inning. And he sets him down. Grayson Rodriguez strikes out the side in the sixth. Let him know, kid, as the Orioles take a two to one lead into the seventh. Set to go underway again here. Urias at second, Henderson at first for Adley Rutschman. Two to one, Orioles lead the Pirates in the seventh. A 3-1 swing and a ground ball pulled through the left side. Ramon Arias is waved in. A furious left hand of Tony Mancelito. And Arias is just in there ahead of the throw from Sawinski. And the tag from Davis. Santander, the co-RBI leader in the AL, coming into today. Will swing it and a ground ball pass to Diving Hayes and bring in one more. Henderson races in. Rutschman goes to third. And Santander takes second behind the play. An opposite field double for Anthony, and the Orioles have a pair in the seventh. Jared Triolo leads it off for the Pirates. Four to one Orioles. And a fly ball towards center field, deep and clear the deck. Cannonball coming. Big tree cracks one over the center field fence. It's a 4 2 ball game. What a day for a ball game. A ah, strikeout on a curveball will end the night for Grayson Rodriguez his seventh punch out of the evening now punches out five of the last six batters he sees and this was a really good breaking ball in the outside part of the plate six innings one run in his first start six and a third two runs in his second Orioles come to bat here in the eighth inning leading four to two Cedric Mullins to lead it off Mullins rips it down the right field line this one is in the corner and it hits off the ball and is gone Cedric Mullins hits a home run, a line shot off the bottom of the foul pole in right field. And after the Pirates homer, the Orioles add another one today. It is number two for Mullins, and the Orioles extend their lead to 5 2. There is Craig Kimbrell. Danny Coulomb did his thing, and you can know now up to Kimbrell to pick up his first save as an Oriole. He struck him out looking. The 11th strikeout for Oriole pitching today. And Davis goes down for a third time. The Orioles have struck out at least one every inning from the fourth on. In the air to right field, well struck by Triolo, but Santander is waiting. And the Orioles get to 5 and 2 by winning 5 2 2.